Welcome to our lecture online. We're now finally ready to take a look at the general form of the quadratic equation and how to graph that. Now, there's several aspects of it, but we're going to start with the basic concept of how to graph a parabola when the equation is written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and this is the example we're going to use. Notice I already have a xy axis up, and what we're going to do is find the vertex the axis of symmetry, and the y-intercept. It turns out that in the, when the equation is written in the general format, c becomes the point where the graph will cross the y-axis. So that then becomes the y-intercept. But before we point out where the y-intercept is, let's simply find the vertex. And notice to find the vertex, the x-coordinate is simply minus b over 2a. And in this case, we can identify what a, b, and c are. You can see that a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to 5. So let's go ahead and find the vertex first. The vertex, we first want to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is equal to minus b over 2a. And so that's equal to minus b is a negative 4, so negative times a negative 4, divided by 2 times a, and a in this case is 2. So this becomes minus times the minus, which is plus 4 over 4, which is 1. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is equal to 1. Now we need to find the y-coordinate, and to find that, we're going to plug in the x-coordinate of the vertex into our general equation. That means that y sub v is equal to uh, 2 times x squared, and x, of course, is going to be equal to 1, so 1 squared minus 4 times x, which is 1, plus 5. So all we did was plug in the value for x equal to 1 here and here to find the y-coordinate of the vertex. So in this case, that's equal to, that's 1 times 2, which is 2, minus 4, plus 5, that's 7 minus 4, which is equal to 3, which means that the vertex is equal to the x-coordinate, which is equal to 1, and the y-coordinate, which is equal to 3. And that is easy to find on our x-y-axis. So the vertex 1, 3, 1 is over here, 3 is over here. So this is where the vertex is. So let's just put a v for vertex at that location. Now we look at the value for a, and notice that a is positive, which means we know that the problem opens upward. But before we graph it, let's go ahead and write the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is, is the equation x equals minus b over 2a, which we now know is equal to 1. So the equation x equals 1 is the axis of symmetry. And x equals 1, of course, is the line that goes through the value x equals 1 and is parallel to the y-axis, which means that that line is right in the middle of our graph. So our graph is going to up is going to open upward, and this line right here, x equals 1, is what we call the axis of symmetry. And finally, we're going to find the y-intercept. In this case, the y-intercept is equal to c, and c is equal to 5. That means that the parabola will cross the y-axis when y equals 5. So here's the vertex. We know it opens upward, and we know that the graph will go to that point right here. So it looks like there you go, in one direction, and then we draw the mirror image in the other direction, and there's the parabola that represents the graph y equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Of course, it's not an exact graph. All we knew is where the vertex was and where it crosses the y-axis, and then using the axis of symmetry, we draw the two lines to pretty well represent the graph of that parabola. Of course, we don't know the exact values, the exact points along the line. Well, for that, we're going to need another video to show how to graph it by simply picking a number of points. We'll show you how to do that on the next video. That's a really good point. So what you're saying is, since you know the axis of symmetry goes right down the middle, and you know the vertex is at 1, and then 1 to the left, it goes up to 5. That means 1 to the right goes up to 5 as well. So that means that there's another point right there where we have 2, 
5 and here we have the point 0, 5. So they're mirror images of each other along the axis of symmetry, just like you indicated. Yes, the axis of symmetry allows you to find that other point on the other side. It's a very good point. It made the graph a little bit more accurate. And it makes it easier to graph it. You're absolutely correct. Good point. Thank you.